Religion is mankind's construction of what God is. It's not God's definition of what God is. What my suggestion to you, and this is something that the spirits who are listening as well need to bear in mind, every time you try to define God, you are going to find that you're probably going to be wrong. It's only when you let God define herself to you through this emotional connection that we'll talk about, that is when you will learn truth. Well, where does the Bible fit in, particularly written by your 12 followers? Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have 12 followers. Um, there were obviously lots of followers in the first century, and I didn't have a favourite 12 that I picked. Um, they're, they're all the constructions of people who wanted to fit 12 into some patterns in the Bible. And uh, there were some mathematicians who were involved in religious study, and they wanted to fit all these patterns together. The, but the Bible as it currently is has been heavily modified from the experiences that I actually had on the earth in the first century. Now, again, I, I'm happy to have a session where you ask me any question about my first century life and I can tell you anything you want to know. And you'll find some of it is in harmony with what's in the Bible and some of it is not. And you'll understand where it obviously is being modified too once you hear the true story. And I don't really want to focus too much on myself, aside from the fact of just being honest with you about who I am. Um, I, I prefer that you focus on your relationship with God. Uh, because obviously all I am is the same as yourself, I'm just a child. There are certain truths in the Bible that are very true about God, and there are also certain errors about God too. You know, obviously, anything in the Bible that refers to God being a God of wrath, obviously, is incorrect. Uh, for example, and there are many other examples I can pull out too. But much of the modification of the Bible occurred in the third century of the Common Era, and the reason why it occurred was that. Man, uh, the emperor at the time, Constantine, wanted to set up a world religion because he felt that that was the way to maintain the harmony of his empire that was fragmenting because of Christianity. So what had happened is so-called Christianity grew from the time I was on earth to the third century and there were so many fights and wars about the whole thing. Obviously not Christianity, eh? Mm -hmm. But um, there were so many fights and wars about the whole thing that what he did was he tried to unify the the Roman Empire again by making it the Holy Roman Empire, making it religious. And uh, in the process of doing that, there were 70 or so men who got together who he chose and they determined what the Bible should contain. And in the process of determining what the Bible should contain, they chose many things that were in harmony with their own belief system and they rejected many teachings and things that were written that were in disharmony with their own belief system. And my, my own soulmate in the first century wrote some books, and all of those were dismissed from the Bible. Only men usually contributed to the Bible. There were very few women. Even the, even the books that are named after women, even in the, the uh, Hebrew scriptures of the Bible, were written by men. Um, so, so there's a lot of distortion, historically. And as you know, his story it is really his story yeah. uh, rather than the true story. And you'll actually find when you pass that every single word in the Bible that was not originally there, you'll be able to identify. There are books in the spirit world that are accurate based on the first writings.